in the cold. <laughs> I've just come on guys to check things out. Ouija boards moved, the balloons, I'm sure they wasn't there, I'll have to check the footage back from yesterday. It's just gone really cold here guys, really cold. <laughs> Oh, that plunge thing again guys. It don't hurt, it just fucking takes my breath away for a few seconds. What the fuck? The Ouija board's in here. The Ouija board was near the front door yesterday. I'm going back to my mum's guys. I'm leaving now guys, I'm going back to my mum's. I found this wooden thing for the Ouija board in the bathroom sink. And a few people in the comments yesterday said, separate the board and the wooden thing, so... I'm gonna leave it in the car overnight. That thing what happens guys when something touches me. If something's got activity and it touches me, touches me, I get that weird feeling where the breath goes. It's like a cold water plunge. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't last for long. It's like a cold water plunge and then everything's back to normal in a few seconds. TikTok user Muru75 from Germany claims that one night he heard some strange sounds coming from his living room. When he goes to check it out, things take a horrifying turn. His father met her in the afterlife. A woman by the name Tracy Lenahan from Liverpool was relaxing alone at home when she noticed something strange out of the corner of her eye. She caught footage of a silhouette at the window. When she checked behind the blinds, nobody was there. But when she stepped back, the figure reappeared. Before this, Tracy was sharing happy memories of her late father with her elder daughter. What creeped out Tracy and her family was that in the footage, they noticed what seemed like another hand holding onto Tracy's reflection. Could it be the spirit of Tracy's late father or something more sinister? Let me know your thoughts below. He was driving by a haunted road when he sees this. On April 16th at around 3.38 a.m., a fatal accident took place in the Illinois Markham exit off of Highway 57. The accident took the lives of two individuals and hospitalized two survivors. As the police interviews one of the survivors, he states that a lady dressed in white was walking down the middle of the road, which caused one of the drivers to swerve to the left, colliding with the other car. Two days after the incident, a truck driver by the name Ken was passing by Highway 57 in the exact area when he captures this. Just like the police report states, a lady dressed in white scrubs can be seen walking towards him. After the police reviewed the traffic cameras of that section of the interstate, they confirmed no one was there. Due to the police report and footage captured by his truck's camera, Ken believes he might have captured the residual haunting of this lady in white wandering Highway 57. If you came here to kill me, clap your hands. Well, that wasn't clapping your hands, that was more like just... Oh, okay, I'm so... Flash is on, alright, let's take a look. What do you think's in there? I don't know. Did I get something? <laughs> oh my fucking god, I swear to god this thing just fucking looked at me, oh my fucking
What's up, TikTok? Back with another video again. Right here in this video, they said a man was attacked by a bear. Hey, y'all know what that means, right? When he got attacked by that bear, I think that that was his supper. Chatumare, 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 no te muevas, no te muevas, no te muevas, moni mierda. Justo ahorita te tienes que mover, no he tenido un buen día. Así que te, si te sigues moviendo, te voy a usar como papel higiénico en el baño. Eso. Here's footage of someone who's being chased by La Llorona, the weeping woman who is a ghostly entity that mourns over the death of her children who she killed. It's believed that she comes out in the dead of night, as the following video shows. As someone who likes to walk at night, this terrifies me. This car is trying to tell me something. When I put this battery on it, watch this. Did you hear that? This graffiti though and the whole like <laughs> it's oh, okay, okay, okay. get back, get back, get back. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Ashley Kettering had a camera placed in her basement where she captured something pretty creepy. Now, some viewers think that this could have been an image cast by a projector, but Ashley states that there was no projector whatsoever. I bet it was a projector. All I have is this. So, see, this is like a bookshelf right here, and this is the wall. See how it would turn? So what do you think? Real or fake? もう一度ご覧いただこう。画面左側の木の横に何か女性のような姿が見えないだろうか。Were you guys aware of a city called Jaharia in India? It's also known as the Burning City and it's nothing but coal under there and the coal is now on fire. Apparently this has been going on over a century but it looks like it's getting a little worse now because the children, this is how they have to survive. Look at that y'all. This is how they have to survive. They have to go get coal in order to make a living. This is not an ideal place to live amongst, especially as children, because inhaling coal can definitely have some detrimental side effects um, when it comes to um, breathing. You can and will experience all kinds of respiratory issues, y'all. 
so yeah they are watching it to make sure that everything is all right because you know with everything that's happening in the earth right now the volcanic action the magma action we have no idea the earth is unpredictable right now and this is why they are sharing this story because they have no idea what's going to happen with this because it's getting hotter and it's getting more unbearable to stay over there y'all wow Diliatin hantu noni Belanda pakai gaun pengantin tengah malam itu rasanya Dan ini ceritanya Dan kemarin malam itu memang ada kerjaan yang mengharuskan memang pulang malam Dan gue pergi nih kebetulan berdua sama adik gue Gak tau kenapa pas kemarin malam itu pengen banget lewat kuburan Padahal kalau di atas jam 12 malam itu Kuburan ini tuh kalau dulu rawan banget sama begal Jadi kalau sudah di atas jam 10 malam Itu biasanya jarang banget orang lewat sini Tapi kemarin malam itu kayak ada yang nyuruh gue buat lewat situ dan bener aja ini diliatin noni noni Belanda pakai baju putih baju yang kayak dipakai kawinan tapi dia madepnya tuh made ke belakang coba bisa komen tuh lihat gimana menurut pendapat kalian bologoy